peeps are here. <laughs> well, uh, Alice doesn't live here anymore. Taxi driver, Silence of the Lambs. We didn't do bad. Didn't do too bad, huh, Harry? No. <laughs> it was great working with you on Silence of the Lambs. And I remember, I feel blessed to have worked with some of these great, amazing production teams and the great actors they surrounded us with. And, and the directors weren't too bad either. Yeah, <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> Marty Scorsese and Jonathan Demi, they knew how to take a production team, a workforce, and turn it into a village, a team that came alive to create powerful films. Yeah, I learned so much working with Marty and Jonathan, and I think it stayed with me on every project I've ever acted in or directed. And all of us who work on movies or in television know that to make a film or a show that people want to watch, it takes, it takes teamwork, it takes great effort, hard work, long hours, a lot of sacrifices in our, in our personal lives as well. Those sacrifices catch up with us along the way. <laughs> and when the work goes away for a little while, stress, anxiety, financial hardships come along. And I was lucky enough to build a pretty good career, not quite as good as yours, <laughs> but so many people we have met on our journey have struggled. Yeah, I, I know you're speaking from personal experience of what an organization like MPTF can mean. You know. Well, you know, when bad times hit me, I was blessed to become a resident on the Woodland Hills campus. My wife, Holly Prada, and I were living in an apartment in East Hollywood, and in July 2017, an electrical fire displaced us, and we ended up living in a motel on Sunset Boulevard just west of Western. And we lived there for 22 days and then 45 nights in a home in Pasadena, a little room. And I asked my wife one time, I said, I think we should, uh, you know, contact MPTF. And she said, yes. And, and to get back to our loss, we lost just about everything we had, including our poetry collection, which was pretty precious to us. My wife was a great writer, and I, I've had a few poetry books published. Twelve. And after the fire, we had nowhere to go. And as I just said, we we're living there, and we, you know, contacted MPTF. And, you know, the reason I found out about MPTF, when I was a young actor, I would talk to other actors, and I would listen to them, and they would tell me about the motion picture home. And they'd, they, uh, they were going to live there when they got old. And from their stories and from others, I realized I knew about the country home on the Wasserman campus. So we applied to become residents. And in September 2017, we moved into our place in the Stark Villa. We were so overwhelmingly grateful to be at MPTF. It was Shangri-La for my wife because she didn't have to cook anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and she didn't have to take care of the house. And, uh, it was a blessing. She passed away in 2019. I'm still here. Yes, you are. Um, I'd like everyone to know that MPTF means uh, so much to Harry and was so life-changing for him and Holly that in 2020, he published a book of poetry called Love Poem to MPTF. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just a book about my connection to the campus. But the second to the last poem is about what others have said about MPTF. That is beautiful, Harry. So you may feel lucky to have MPTF, but MPTF is lucky to have you. Um, so now my connection to MPTF is a little different. Um, I've been a supporter for a long, long time. Apparently there's proof. Apparently that's my payroll stub. Pledge card from back in the 1960s, signed by my mom. Um, over the years, I didn't, I didn't really get to visit the campus, but since my mom lived next door in Woodland Hills, I would pass by every time I went to visit her, or I went to the pumpkin patch, or to buy fresh strawberries on the side there. Um, and then when a longtime studio teacher of mine, Irene Brafstein, was hospitalized there, I would come and see her. And on one of those visits, I walked around the campus and I got to see up close how much MPTF meant to so many in our industry like Irene. 
So back in 2017, you generously donated a million dollars. to fund the Jody Foster Aquatic Pavilion as part of the Saban Center for Health and Wellness. It's only a warm water therapy pool, but at MPTF, the residents think of it as something between the holy water of Lourdes and, and the set of cocoon. <laughs> and everyone there yeah. is so grateful for your support. It really is the set of cocoon. In case you get, there's lots of gossip going on, and everybody's in their bathing suits, hootering and hollering. It's pretty fun. Um, there's so many stories like my teacher Irene's and Harry's that bring home the importance of the fund and all it's done over the last century and all it continues to do. So tonight, we're going to introduce you to several members of the MPTF community whose stories embody what it means to say, I am MPTF. <laughs> 